Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, cool collaboration apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I want to talk about some really cool collaboration apps that I've looked at very recently. One is about video, one is about notes, and one is about online chatting that allows you to control who's communicating and does not necessarily need even an internet connection. So let's go straight at it. The first one I want to talk about is taking notes with Post-it and the Post-it Plus app is a great app if you've got students working in small groups or even individually or whole classroom and you want to capture the notes they make. So you have you know, an example of note that I made on a regular a post-it node and it got recorded here. Now if I have another one I just go to my camera and I will put it here and uh, the camera will zoom in. You press for two seconds. It takes a picture and what it does after that is it identifies exactly where that post-it note is and you can add it to your board so you see it separated it and it keeps only the post-it which is very very cool and then what you can do with this uh, post it is you can actually share it so you can go into it and share it and you can see that you can share it in traditional ways you can go to Facebook Twitter or uh, email it to somebody that you want to share it with you can save the image as an image or you can actually print it out so there are lots of things that you can do with it you can also of course maneuver it around if you're so inclined uh, try to improve it with uh, some uh, filters to see how clear you can make it depending on what it was written with and you can like it and this is an app that can be connected and organized by board so if you have a class on a specific day on a specific topic you make a board that's only that one and this can also be connected into your Evernote so there are lots of ways where you can actually uh, share these with others. Uh, so this is Post-it. It's a great app to quickly capture if you're already, already working with Post-it or something like it. Great way to do it. I do use a lot of Post-it in my classroom. Sometimes we use it when we teach comprehension and kids write Post-it and put it in their book. It's a great way to capture them and take them with them without actually having to rearrange that in paper but actually do it electronically. So this is uh, Post-it Plus. The second one I want to talk about is called Video Pop and video spelled V-I-D-O. So Video Pop is the easiest way that I know to share videos very quickly uh, with anybody throughout the world using any social networking or other way to do it. So the simple thing is you just turn it on you can see that it has a video I just shot it. it's a 10 second video it's not very long but to shoot a video all you do is you press on the go button so the only thing you do is you press on the go button and you can see that the cloud piece is there and taking a video is as simple as just turning it on and you can see that I'm recording a video and this is a silly video that I'm making right now and now all I have to do is once I made the video is go to my videos and I've got one video here and I shot it horizontally so uh, that will be the reason that it's rotated sideways but I shot it horizontally I have a 10 second video and all I have to do to share it you see here it is it's recorded in real time and to send it all I have to do is press on send and it gives me all of these options so I can send it to another video pop user if you've got students organized and you know who they are they can send it to each other you can use mail you can use direct messaging Twitter and Facebook lots of opportunities to quickly share uh, any video you make and the great things about thing about video pop is it is basically instant so you don't spend a lot of time sitting there waiting for things to upload or to change format or whatever it is that it does this happens in almost real time so you are not spending a lot of time doing videos or you're not spending a lot of time with your students uploading and playing with the videos it is what you shoot you can use the front or back cameras and you quickly 
create a video that can be used. So this one is called Video Pop and it's the best way I've found to quickly share uh, videos. The last one I want to talk about is called Fire Chat. And Fire Chat is a way for students to have online discussions, chat rooms. And what I love about Fire Chat is actually the fact that you can contain the discussion within your classroom without any danger that anybody else will join the discussion, but still have the benefits of an online discussion. And we know that online discussions are gr a great way to add the voice of kids who may not feel very comfortable speaking out loud in the classroom, who have something to say, but usually will shy away from doing that in front of everybody else, especially if they're disagreeing. And what we know from research is they actually tend, when everybody goes online, to have a much clearer voice. And often teachers are surprised by what they have to say. So what you can do is you can initiate a conversation and have it shared without internet. That means that everybody's got to activate the, their device's uh, Bluetooth and its direct line of sight Bluetooth. And if they're up to 200 feet away from each other, they will actually be able to be in that conversation. And it's a great way to have that inside the classroom conversation even if you have unreliable internet or you don't have internet or you don't want kids to go on the internet. So it's a whole new way to do something we know works very, very well as part of classroom interaction. We have the time where everybody is orally conversing and there's also an advantage to students having time to communicate through the device and being able to formulate their thoughts and be able to express themselves in a, in a different way, in a sometimes more thoughtful way, and definitely giving a different kind of access to different kinds of student. So today, I briefly talked about three very cool, I think, collaboration apps, and I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.